Hi everyone, great to be with you. Um, we've been following the story of the nativity, the, the birth of Jesus as it's recorded uh, in Luke's Gospel. And today we're at Luke chapter 2, we're going to look at verses uh, 16 to 18. I'm just taking this a piece at a time. So those, those three verses say this. Uh, this is talking about the shepherds. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they'd seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. I don't know how you feel about um, the word evangelism, but most people cringe at the thought of having to go out and tell other people what they believe about God and Jesus. I actually consider myself very fortunate to be a vicar because it means that once I've told people what I do, there's a kind of open expectation that at some point I'm going to talk about faith, which makes the job of evangelism very much easier. But I want to look at what happened with these particular shepherds, because I doubt that any of them were particularly well-educated people. I don't want to put them down, but they probably didn't have much of an education. They probably didn't have a huge vocabulary. They may not have been particularly eloquent people. They probably didn't have any formal training on how to approach other people and unpack the, the wonder of the gospel. But what they did have was something that was really precious and quite special, because they had the experience of that encounter with the angel out on the hills. And their witness of the things that uh, the angel had told them that they would find, that they'd see Jesus wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Um, and here's what's really important, I think, to know. They had no obligation to go and tell other people. They just went and they did it because they were excited by the fact that they'd seen angels, they'd heard them speak, and they'd found what they'd been told that they would find. They found Jesus exactly as the angel had said they would. So the motivation for them to tell other people was really simple. They were excited about it. Now when you think of the relationship that you have with Jesus, how do you feel? Are you excited by that? Are there things that happen in your life that you know can only have happened because of Jesus? And when you've thought about those things, are you excited enough to tell other people? Revelation 19, verse uh, is 10 or 11, I can't remember, I think it's 10, says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. In other words, talking about the things that Jesus has done is a prophetic act in itself. You're declaring he's already done something so he can do it again. So think, what have I got that excites me enough to share with somebody else? And if you can't think of anything, then why not ask Jesus to come and bless you with something new and exciting that you can share? Because then you'll find yourself so full of enthusiasm and passion about it that you won't be able to help yourself. And that's wonderful. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would come today and stir our minds and our hearts to remember the great things that you've done in each of us. Grant us new experiences of you, new, th new signs and wonders that we might um, also be so filled with passion for you and the kingdom of God that we're driven to spread the news of the gospel wherever we go. And in that, Lord, we pray that many, many others will come to know you because of the passion and excitement that they see in us. So we ask that you would come today in Jesus' name and bless us. Amen. Have a great day.